All right, this is an ANET A8 that I've spent some time modifying over the past two years since I bought it. Uh, I'm going to do a lot longer of a video of this shortly, but I wanted to make a quick update video today. This is still without much tuning. I haven't calibrated the extruder. I haven't really calibrated anything. All I've added so far is I built this uh, aluminum frame. There's a mod on Thingiverse called the AM8. Instead of ANET 8, it was all metal 8. Uh, and then I've Frankenstein, and I'm just getting this working, so this will be neatened up eventually. Got a Duet 2 Wi Fi board uh, set up and working on here uh, in my workshop. So, pretty interesting. Printed this one last night, first test. Let's get on this guy here. Um, I'm printing all of these at 250% speed, so I'm going around 150 millimeters a second on this. Um, had some issues with the belts coming undone last night because they're really cheap belts and they're just literally screwed on with like plastic bits. Uh, so fix that issue. It's getting some pretty, pretty cool quality. Now I have an issue with the thermistor. Um, I'm not using the correct uh, PT100 daughter board. I just have, the, I just literally have it plugged in direct to the board here, so my accuracy is really low. It just jumps all around, so um, I'll have the daughter, daughter board in here shortly, but this is it. So a little project to see how good a quality we can get out of an ANET A8 without changing too much. Uh, so far we have uh, genuine E3D hot ends, um, a, I think, that, what, what are these, unicorn tube? Is that what that's called? Unicorn, or, uh, uh, an upgraded PTV tube. I have a really cheap Amazon set for the extruder, which, damn, that's getting really hot. Um, currently I have the bearing fix for the, uh, the Z rods. I'm probably gonna end up taking that out just because I actually really don't like securing both ends of the uh, lead screw. These should be trapped, but not these. The whole point is so they can wiggle. So I'll probably change that out. Um, this isn't staying here. This is actually gonna get moved over here into my BLV MGN cube. Another Thingiverse project that is nearly, nearly complete. It's a pretty sweet project. It's a Core XY printer. Um, but I'll show you more on that later. For today, just a little update on the AM8. Uh, running, two different power <laughs> running two different power supplies. Uh, I have a 24 volt here. I have a 10, uh, 10 volt here. I'm actually still using the old board, the ANET's original board here, just to run the fans because the fans are 12 volt. Um, I then have two uh, external, um, external relays here being triggered off of the Duet, but are using the power again from the original power supply. So pretty hacky, pretty janky, but just a fun to see how much, uh, how much quality I can drive simply by changing out the control board. So interesting, I'll do a better quality video on this later. Thanks for watching, see you guys soon.